So yeah, uh, going along the right wall, you have a better chance of making it there uh, without him detecting you early. Going through the middle, you usually run into him. Um, so yeah, I've never gone down the left, uh, but who the fuck knows what happens over there. Just go down the right side. You can also, if you mess up your jump, you uh, won't be able to grab onto the ladder and you'll fall back down into his arms. Alright, so we're going to shake this dude. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I died. So you know how I said I was going to shake that dude? I wasn't serious. But you do need to kind of do this little maneuver here. So we lose him there. Back down into the sewers. Oh, sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. Alright, if we come down this way, we'll see a room with a bunch of bodies in it. Don't know why that's there. Don't know whose bodies those are. That guy looks familiar. Fingers first, then balls, then tongue. All right. For some reason, we have to open the door with the crazy person on the other side of it. But we open the door and there's no one there. bunch of surgeries gone wrong or gone right if you're a crazy fucking doctor that man is missing a lot This man starts screaming, alerting the homies. Not my homies. This fucking guy's homies. Oh shit. Why do I think I can go that way?
slippery little whore! Yeah, that wasn't fun. But they keep on coming. Like, hell yeah, dog, I'm trying to leave. Yeah, they were actually really close to getting him. Oh shit, it's a trap. Hey, you're that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever, you must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch? Hmm? I have a little confab, blah blah. Well, you're then you look. A little car, you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside the car at all times. I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable when people get scared. There's like the turn of God is on you. Else. God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. <laughs> You paying attention? Don't pass that on me. There's so much for you to absorb. There. It's better, right? Here's the way you. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is going to sell itself. <laughs>
All right, so we meet Dr. Wernicke. Uh, he was a fucking wannabe comedian slash crazy doctor who decided to take two of your fingers for no good reason. This guy's all fucked up. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, that's not Dr. Wernicke. That's, uh, Dr. Traeger. My bad, guys, my bad. Alright, so this guy decides to make hella noise to bring this crazy bastard back in here. So while he deals with him, we're gonna dig this way. Setting up for the inevitable account encounter. I don't think I lured him far enough. Oh shit! Oh god! I gotta be honest and say that was the smoothest I've ever done that. Nope, see ya.
Alright, so we got the elevator key, which was the point of that whole thing. Hopping in the elevator, trying to get the fuck out. Somehow he meets me on the floor below. He wants that action. I don't know how I avoided getting my head cut off there, but we get this man stuck in the elevator, break his spine, end his life. Obviously can't use the elevator anymore. You know, I'm still in need of a battery. Thank God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Alright, so... He knew I'd run into him. Didn't warn me. Not a big fan of Father Martin. Burning arm and a leg. Hot boxing the bathroom with burning body parts. Uh, nah, I can't talk. Anyway, so in that room, there's a big fire, as you can see. Flames, the glow. Got a battery. Still need another battery. Hey, throwing up gang signs.
All right. So in this room right here, there's one of the sprinklers. And in this room right here, this is the main one. And down there to the left is the second and final one. So we're just going to peek around this wall for no reason. Oh, and then you see your boy. Alright, so luckily he didn't see me there. Uh, one time I tried to do the same exact thing, and he happened to just be like right around the corner and just grab me. I mean, there's no way he's getting in here, so there's no reason even worrying about it, but... It's always interesting to watch the NPCs in this game. Alright, this man's giving his homie a bath because, yeah, I don't even have a reason why. So, best thing to do here... Just run in there, hit that shit, hide in the darkness. Because he will go in that room and check that locker. And if for some reason he sees me in this dark corner... Uh, I'll just run on the other side of the cabinet and exit the room. I don't even think he comes in here though. Unless he knows for a fact you're in here. There he is.
It's like I need him to walk through the middle. But he won't do it. Oh, there he goes. While they're hiding in there. Just hit that switch and come back here. Because now you'll be able to exit through the kitchen. Probably scared the hell out of you. 